I think it started off as, uh, I guess, kind of like the website, a little bit of a, a wary journey. We had SharePoint, it was embedded into the working practices across the school um, and has been for probably about 10 years. Um, however, it had become this kind of sp sprawling monstrosity with files all over the place, um, different formats, some departments using it, some departments not using it. Um, and we want, we want to try and establish, well, what, what are people using it for? Is there something else that we could use? I think we decided that we had to reshape whatever way we do. If we went 365, we'd have to rebuild the whole thing. If we go Google Sites, we are going to have to rebuild what we're doing. Um, but actually, the process of that build has been relatively straightforward. The IT department built a Google Site for our department. We set it up with the same folder names that we have in SharePoint, but we started using them in a, in a collaborative sense. So we had our schemes of work that you could collaborate on. We had our tracking documents that you could collaborate on. And then I took it to the leadership team and presented and said, I think this is the way forward because it's going to aid our collaboration, because it's multi-platform, because it's easy to use, um, because it's online. Uh, anywhere in the world, as long as you've got access to the internet, you can get on and you can use it. And we've made the decision that as of uh, the first, uh, 31st of August, 2016, SharePoint will cease to exist and to give everyone the academic year to do the transfer. As a school, we were certainly aware that we needed to improve some of the IT provision um, out of the IT department. Um, the IT department had a rolling program of, of replacing computers. We had two brand new rooms. Um, and I think it was really about how we go from there to say, well, okay, how do we improve the provision across the rest of the school? Our IT infrastructure wasn't brilliant. There was a problem with servers, problems with networking signals. We had bench space, but actually we didn't really have a lot else. And ultimately we decided for what is 200 pound a device for an all-in-one machine that gets you on the cloud, that gets you access to your uh, cloud storage in Google, gets you all your Google apps. For us, it was the perfect scenario for a department where actually they don't have any um, specialist requirements in terms of their software. We bought 18 Chrome bases at £200 a unit, including the user license. If we were to do a full computer suite, um, it would have been around about £600 a machine, plus probably another 1500 quid for benching and stands to kind of enable the logon process to be much, much quicker because they don't have to get into our network admin first. It's just straight on. Um, and it's all, all kind of managed through our proxy in terms of their internet access, which is enabled the, the kids to get going a lot quicker and the feedback from the, the pupils and the department has been really really positive 